Hey guys and welcome back to Concrete and Steel. Now it's been a while um, since I last did a video on Concrete and Steel uh, but since then there's been a few updates. So uh, one of the main ones is this new freeform tool so you can do heights up to 5 meters, do any form of shape that you want and um, yeah so I've used that to make this house and this is what we will be trying to complete in this video so uh, off well <laughs> the parts which I didn't record was making the foundations so for example we can take apart this floor and there's parts there holding it up so we can go ahead and paint them chipboard and just to highlight them a bit so these outline every room so for example if there was ever cables added in to the game I could just get one of these make well do a couple of different shapes so I could have a hole there and I could have cables running along the ground so that's quite good um, what else have we got? I think that's the only main thing I can think of about this house really. Um, so that's I think that's 30 centimeters above the ground that. Let's uh, see. No, 40. So the floor is the floor is 50 centimeters off the ground so you're alright for flooding and that. Um, again up here the walls they go in their own separate place I'm not entirely sure what happened there that's the floor from there so we need to fix that first though right if we get that corner there take it to there that should hopefully be okay and then if we take that from there to there grab that paint and we are sorted so I've gone for this nice blue turquoisey colour here yeah, it just looks quite nice makes it a bit of a change uh, mahogany looking dark wood door frames and the sort of like carpet stoppers so you see them quite often, they sort of they cover up where the carpet goes up down there where the hard wood flooring meets the carpet. Um as well. So, and in fact before I mention that, the way this house works is in here you've got two offices, so one here and one on the other side. You've got a dining room or kitchen, and this'll be the dining room or kitchen, a games room sort of thing and then a lounge area in here. Upstairs these two rooms where the offices are are going to be bathrooms and these are going to be four rather large spacious bedrooms. Uh, as you noticed I haven't put any windows in. Um, quite frankly I don't really like windows. Uh, they're going to go on the next floor up. For the dining room well this is going to be sort of based in a city centre I'm going to build up some roads around it, some different buildings and shops and all that um, so yeah I don't really want windows around there or it could be a completely rural area um, you don't want your stuff getting nicked so there's only one point of entry which is the front door so yeah right anyway first thing which I've got to do is remove those two pieces there because I know what I've done wrong there and they've only got to be one sorry ten centimeters high um, for this to work properly because I'm trying to make this well decent <laughs> uh, so for example you could get given the plans and you could rebuild this whole thing uh, so it's decent measurements and stuff uh, so yeah, one thing I am going to be doing, there will be like little features, for example this banister arrangement thing here, uh, that's going to be, I haven't decided what 
texture that'll be actually yet. It's going to be uh, one of the wooden textures because uh, the wooden textures are really quite nice on here. Um, there might be a couple of mods added in, don't know. Uh, but yeah, this game is 9.99 on Steam as well. If you haven't purchased it, uh, if you like building and that sort of stuff, it's a really quite good game. Um, I believe there's going to be some major updates after the summer, or um, so more, even more features than there is now. So that should be quite good. Um, DLC type packs, they well, one of them's already been released, and that is the. Um, what was it? it? Was the official street pack? That that's quite a nice pack uh, to have. Um, I've got that, so you might see some features from that appear in this little mini series sort of thing. Um, but yeah, overall it's just going to be like a fun little series that I do. Uh, making this house even better. <laughs> um, yeah, going back to the game as well, mods. There's a corner desk which I made, there's a curved roof and that which I might add on to this. It's quite, that's quite a cool little pack. Um, uh, so yeah, that is what will be done in this little series. So we can make that, that make those carpet there. If we go to the wood, it was going to be that colour, but I think that it seems too light. I mean, let's do half of it. I know what I can do actually. We can decide which colour we want. Definitely not this orange, I don't think. It's too... Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> That'd be... I don't know, it's just... Yeah. You know what, why don't we go for this mahogany sort of... Well, dark wood. I think that looks quite good, it does. Uh, the stairs, they are carpet. Uh, I might make them... This light wood, I think that go quite well. Carpet goes quite well as well. Meets a carpet up here. Might just leave them as carpet actually. Uh, hard wood floor here. You got like a shoe storage area here under the stairs. Nice little staircase there. All the rooms I've mentioned. Up the stairs. We need to sort these bathrooms out now, or oh, for start the walls and that. I think. What I am wanting to do is, before I do that, we've got to sort this out actually. Uh, we've got to accommodate for there to be double doors put in. And I'm sort of just guessing on the sizes, but I kind of have a feeling what the sizes would be uh, for double doors. I might even mod in the double doors sort of. Thing. <laughs> the door frame um, just so I've got it really for my own personal use might make a little porch area actually and um, that comes out here that could be something we do but those stairs are just there for now for example you don't do all of the fine furnishings and that while you still got the workers in the house because there's a chance something might get broken you'll get dust all over it and that um, so yeah. Anyway, back to what I was going to do. I'm going to have windows here. So what I'm planning on having is 50 centimeters. No, I'm not. A meter. No, it's 90 centimeters there, which runs all the way across because we can just fill that in. Um, 
where that meets that, there will be a pillar sort of thing. In fact, we'll just add that there just so I know where that ends. It's at 40 centimetres. Where's that on that corner? It's 50. I don't want that, I want 40. There we go. Right. What we need to do now, we need to go to Windows here. And we need a door, a uh, window frame. 1 by 2 meter, that's the one that we need. So eyeball this for now. Hopefully that's right place so how wide is that across 1.1 meter that's 1.1 meter as well now so it needs to go 10 more centimeters over that way there we go so no frames in here I know what I can do here we, they're a metre tall actually, so these middle sections are going to have to be a metre tall. Let's do 1.2 metres across from there. And add a window frame. And then there will just be... brick in there. I've gone for the white sort of brick. Uh, the red brick it's too ugly I think. Uh, I quite like something quite nice. For example that would fit into a sort of historical city uh, that's got no red brick. Well not much red brick in it anyway. There's a white blend in. I've just done the red brick around here because technically they're cheaper, I believe. So they do what uh, that'd be what's damaged first in the case of a flood. Uh, so yeah, those windows could do with going a bit higher actually. Um, hmm. How am I going to do this? I know. If we put a laser line in where the windows go. Do it from the right hand side because that is where the, we add them in from. Then I can just do this which is full wizardry. It should be, ah oh, no technically that needs to be 1.2 meters high to be at normal height because I forgot that we have 2 meters sorry 20 centimeters between well the wall there where it joins onto and um, so yeah windows and window frame there we go Brilliant. Um, as well, I don't know when this video is going to go out, whether it's before. Yeah, it'll probably be the next one that goes out, actually. Uh, I want to say a quick thank you to. Um, Noel Byron. Don't know if I said that right. Uh, for giving me a link to a push mower. That mower will get used in basically well the majority of the um mowing series majority of those videos uh, that's that's a mower which i've been hunting for but haven't found um, give me a link so yeah thank you for that link those laser lines can come out now but the lasers are really quite useful on here and um, that's how i sort of well, before I put in, you saw the borders around the bottoms of the rooms. So, for example, if you were to look 
down on this house before I put anything in you'd have just seen lines where there's no carpet uh, lines of wood that's how I sort of got them sorted with those laser lines right let's, let's add it in let's go 1.2 meters all the way around once we got this border in it's fairly easy because it also means that we won't fall off accidentally anyway unless we jump over um, right this is where it gets difficult because I've got to do individual segments for individual rooms um, so for example if I wanted this bedroom bright pink I can have the whole thing bright pink and not affect any of the other rooms this is where the double walls come in rather useful so instead of just doing a single wall and you paint or attempt to paint one side of it in the game it paints both sides of it because it's just easier um, you can paint both sides of the wall so you'll s if you see other concrete and steel videos this is what will happen in the majority of them uh, because it does, it means that I can get more individual rooms, or more individual to the house really, uh, with different colours and stuff. I'll demonstrate quickly down here actually. So let's go for a bright orange. There we go. This room is completely separate to this room here and this room so it means I can do separate things in each room so I can put wallpaper in them and stuff it just sort of makes it a bit more professional right what we've got to do now is add in the corners there it's where it gets difficult slightly anyway that right down there yep as well if there are any well errors with the way that the house is put together or for example one of the walls is off slightly I don't really have to do much to change it um, because yeah it's everything separate So, this is fairly easy now actually, uh, I'm just doing this for everything, hopefully that was right. Right, what we might be able to do now is just go around the outside of the house and paint that brick texture anyway. that's where that could have gone slightly wrong actually in there that top corner so I'll have to look into that yeah those two corners there I think they're wrong yeah right Solid. <laughs> yeah, that's another f well, advantage to doing this. Right, might do double glazing as well on in these. Make it uh, an efficient house. One problem we've got now is we've got to do the tops of these. Um, so like there, I fall off. <laughs> One disadvantage to do it, windows, is I can't just do one height. 
I'll do that off screen I think um, windows in fact walls that I don't that well that I can do now they need to be three meters high that delete not that one so that's good right five point four no that's a rubbish design no, that was a correct design actually because you want to walk not as far into each room that's 5.4 from that corner yep that's what I need right Is that outside wall no it's inside but it doesn't really matter both probably the same size anyway. So this house is coming along quite nicely. I would have recorded the first part of building this, but I sort of chose not to, but I don't think I should have done actually. I probably yeah, it'd be nice to have recorded it. These walls in there are, are impossible to do. Uh, what I've got to do at the moment is set that to meter got to do the flooring sort of thing there they're going to be mahogany again as well um, so that's got to come across there like that so has that one then we kind of want to go down there then yeah, that's good. One meter. So if you do have this game, a nice little trick that you can do is if you look at something, for example, these have a specific height. Uh, for example, uh, what I'm currently doing, they're three point one meters high this should be 3.2 oh well I can just add on in fact I don't even uh, right no because there's going to be an attic above this somewhere might try and mod in a ladder of some form that would be quite cool um, so yeah you look at something and click X so for example build that there that's 3.1 meters high look at the flooring that's 10 centimeters high and you know the 10 centimeter high block so let's stop this for now um, yeah so thanks for watching guys really hope you have enjoyed this episode on concrete and steel um, if you'd like to see more please leave a like on this video and comment why you'd like to see some more um, or even if you just don't want to see some more just there uh, comment why um, so yeah so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video as it really does help and I'll see you next time goodbye